other educators who are doing work around equity um, and just hear what that sounds like from a lot of different perspectives, you know. Um, you know, I was really aiming to learn about ways to empower students especially and getting students more involved in, in the equity work. I love places that gather educators um, to focus on students, um, student learning, student growth. And, uh, and I think I was just curious as well in terms of, of just different strategies and things that other, other schools, other organizations are doing and um, the EdCamp format has definitely allowed that to happen because I've been able to hear from many different people and a lot of different voices. I like that um, you really get to pick and choose what you want to learn. So that collaborative nature where anybody can be the expert or it's not even one expert but it's like the shared collective expertise um, really makes me feel like that's what education should be all about. I think for all of us it provided that um, affirmation that it's okay to be open and we need to be vulnerable and we need to have our stories out there. And what I liked is that it really was an organic conversation. Um, and it's not that anybody has a clear answer like, ah yes, this is obviously what we should do, but more just hearing a couple different perspectives and also letting students know that they're not alone. Like if you have this question, many, many more people have the same question and have a lot of different answers to it. Um, I think that student voice is, uh, should be the change agent in schools. Which represents Southwest and Percy Chan. You're in a classroom for eight hours for 12 years or like more. And if a teacher is, feels a certain way, you're going to get that vibe. That's why this is really important. But I think that it's so much easier for me not to assume what a young person thinks um, than if I just ask them. Um, in quite a few of the sessions, um, they were asking questions and kind of looking at me, like, you know, asking me about like, my personal experience and my like, life and stuff. That was really great to see, like, okay, they care. <laughs> events like this and as we continue to do the work, we're going to see the power of um, tapping into our students. I really see this as a start and I really have hope for how things can go in the future. You can't live in a square box your whole life. Like when you go into the real world, there's going to be other people who don't look like you. You're going to have to talk to them. You're going to, if you're going to be stuck in this mindset, you're just going to be stuck. I've been waiting, like I've been at the starting line just like ready for like ready for the gun to go off for me to like talk about this stuff. This is the conversation we've been waiting for. We've been waiting for someone to ask this because we've got books in our minds about like ready to answer all of the questions that you have. Mm -hmm.